Last weekend I popped down to Manchester Scooter Centre who were holding an open day and what a day it was. If Carlsberg made scooter dealerships this is the one. I've put together this little video montage so stay tuned and see what was going on. We're talking live music from an amazing local band, The Capitals. Go give them a listen. All the details will be down below in the description. <laughs> Legendary local DJ, Leo B. Stanley. This guy's worked with quite a few of the Manchester faces and I dare say he's got quite a few stories to tell. Those people queuing on the stairs are doing so for good reason. Up there we have music scene royalty. This geezer wasn't just a musician, but a huge part of one of the biggest youth movements the UK has ever seen. Here's a little clue for you. This great white drum kit was the very kit played by the person in question just before the band split up after their final tour. Called the New Wave. And let's take a, a look at it right now. A quick example of New Wave music. That's right folks, it's the one and only Rick Buckler, drummer from The Jam. Well yeah, it's, it's difficult, especially in this country, because you have to wait for the things to catch up with you, you know, so yeah, we do get quite a few days off. Yeah, because so. of jet lag and all that. Well no, because of the transport. Yeah. The, the, the instruments yeah, and your stages yeah. and everything. The red carpet nature of the day didn't stop there. On display were the custom royal alloys used in the new film To Be Someone, and on the subject of the film, this mad geezer turned up. Scott Peden, singer, songwriter and actor, who plays the character Mad Mike in the new film. Bring out my Danny in. I want a word. Ginger Nick's out somewhere out there, floating around his five million buzz bombs on a county four. What's that got to do with me? We're gonna make a fortune until Mike got involved. Now he's a partner. Not Mad Mike. That club is mine. You get me my pills, and I'll sign the club over. I ain't getting involved with drugs, Mike. Oh, yes, you are. Mad Mike had a little message for Danny. My name is Mad Mike. And each scooter that calls me no end of a problem. Right? So, the people that own this dealership ain't getting a scooter's back, and they can't... So, until I'll get the gear. How's that? He was also kind enough to grace us with a little interview. How are you doing, everybody? My name is uh, Scott Peden, and I'm an actor in film and television and a singer songwriter. Awesome, that's great. And um, what are you here for today? I believe you've got a new film coming out shortly. Yeah, well, uh, obviously, Greedy, uh, who's the main man here, uh, he kindly. Uh, phoned and said, look, would you make an appearance, Scott, because uh, I play the part of Mad Mike in the, uh, the new Mod-inspired film called To Be Someone. Awesome. Now, I know you can't reveal too much about the film, right. um, but what was your favourite bit in the film without giving too much away for the viewers? When you watch the film, all I'm going to say is Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds. Yeah, I can't, I can't, give, I can't give anything away, but that for me was... was uh, yeah, the funniest part, the most one of the most memorable for me. There's a few more, but I won't say because I don't want to give things away. But all I'll say to the viewers out there, when you watch the film, which I'm sure you'll enjoy, uh, just remember Thunderbirds. Now, at the time of recording this, I hadn't seen the film, so I didn't know what he was talking about at this stage. But I have since seen it, and all I'm going to say, Scott, is you looked incredibly comfortable in that scene, right at home. Uh, but yeah, you're right, that was a funny scene. Although my favourite bit of the film, funniest bit of the film, I'm not going to give it away and spoil it for everyone, but it's where you have the rocket launcher and you make a comment to the Yardies towards the end of the film. I literally um, laughed out loud at that bit. Oh, I hear you've got a bit of a bike collection yourself. I actually had a, a Vespa. Nice. It was an old 125 Vespa, and it had, you know, like you change gear and the handle moves, one of those. Yeah. And uh, totally illegal, of course. <laughs> so we used to take it out when I was about 15, 14, 15, and ride it about, and somebody put the suspension up for us. They'd done something, so it was a bit more 
uh, springy or something. Okay. Uh, so I had that, and then uh, I had a KX250 motocross bike awesome. uh, with all the FMF front pipe, back pipe, racing reeds, and then I had a Yamaha Timberwolf 350, uh, 350 quad. Awesome. Yeah, and then my last kind of uh, foray into biking was uh, when my mate gave me a shot of his uh, Kawasaki Ninja 636 for a weekend. Bit of a step up. Uh, and I just, I was like, no. And I'm perfectly honest, it frightened me. Because the power in those things are like, unbelievable. You know, like two-stroke motocross bikes yeah, are okay. Yeah. But when I felt that, I went, oh, no, I'll stick to the, the, the motocross stuff, you okay. know. So, uh, but it, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of made me more interested in, 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 in bikes, scooters specifically, because during the filming, there was just a, a load of like, uh, scooter enthusiasts. There was the scooters that Royal Alloy provided for the film. Uh, so much so that I want to buy one now, you know, and I really mean that. I, I think they're lovely. I mean, I'm not a, a mod guy or a scooter guy by any means, so I'll, I know a lot of the kind of hardcore scooter enthusiasts may not agree with it, but I really like the fact they've got that kind of retro look with the, the modern engineering, yeah, and they're really reliable, you know. And to, 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 to have the one maybe that's in the film would be amazing. Yeah, okay. Well, let's go and ask Greedy if he's going to sort you out a price on one. Yeah, 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 let's do it, yeah. I want it now, I want it now, I want it now. <laughs> Yeah. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for no, uh, it's been, little interview. Yeah. yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Uh, and, you know, I hope you enjoy the film and I hope everybody that goes to see it enjoys it. And, uh, you know, much love and peace and vibes, man. Really top bloke and totally down to earth. I'll pop some links down below so you can have a listen to his music. And if you want to catch the new film to be someone, I will also leave some links down below so you can watch it or download it or even buy it on the various platforms. Now, Manchester Scooter Centre is a very special showroom. Also known as Robinson's Rochdale, they sell literally everything from the latest high-end sports bikes to a 50cc moped. But the manager, Graham, is a die-hard scooterist, and that really shines through in the showroom. He's a bit camera shy, so you won't see him in this video, but if he sees you looking around the scooter section in the showroom, he's sure to give you a warm welcome. He's known to keep his own classic Lambretta by his desk in the office, and he's always working on new and interesting custom scooters. Every time I visit, there's always something new special or rare on display this one being his latest creation a sixth day special edition royal alloy gt125 now he's still got a few little bits to add to this from what i hear but the paint job is obviously one of the most important parts and that is something that manchester scooter center specialize in so if you're after a royal alloy with a custom paint job give him a shout Despite the terrible weather, plenty of local scooterists also turned up, so not only did we have some great displays inside the showroom, but there's also plenty to see outside.
Right, that's pretty much everything, folks. I hope you've enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed the event, and we'll see you again in the next video. As always, peace and pistons. Thank you.